Money Moves with MIMF 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, fellas, it's a motherfucking movie. So we're going to get straight into the topic today. You know, uh, we're going to be talking about how American, a lot of American black men are so far behind the financial eight ball. You know what I'm saying? American black men are so far behind the financial eight ball that even kids who who you who, who you graduated high school or you you should have graduated high school at 18 kids who come in 10 20 years after you are more financially successful already at a young age than you are so we're going to get we're going to deep dive into some serious financing in the black community today man make sure you guys like share and if you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So let's get straight into it. So, yeah, a lot of black men are American black men, especially depending on wh where you originate. You know, um, I know a lot of black dudes don't like to work jobs. I know a lot of black men are working jobs depending on what environment that they come from. But places down south, like I'm from down south, a lot of places are very slower than other states, like Memphis, Arkansas, uh, 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 Alabama, Mississippi, Atlanta, ETC. And when I say slow, I'm not talking about slow in a mental standpoint. I'm talking about slow in a financial standpoint, meaning that if you don't, grab hold to something then your opportunity to get a job and hold that job is going to be more and more scarce for you depending on what type of skills you got so a lot of what, I, what i've been seeing is because i stay in the midwest in the middle of the united states at the moment what i've been seeing is a lot of you guys be coming from down south you guys come here you come to companies that i work for and you probably been here for a month or two months. So we're going to talk about this guy today. You know, so he is, he has to be like 50, 60 years old. Um, um, a, con a, a convicted felon. Um, um, and still not ahead of the financial eight ball. You know, most men supposed to hit their financial stride within their 40, when they're 40 and 50 years old, cause they've been in their career so long. But what I'm seeing is a lot of you guys be coming out here and you know, um, the game you're playing is so old. Like guys be talking to me, why you finance a car? Why do you have credit cards when you can get food stamps? Like this dude was literally arguing at me about food stamps and, 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 and arguing at me about financing my car. And he and this dude needs a ride and don't even have a car. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, like you guys, a lot of you guys are playing the game wrong. You know, he he, he has the mind state to get food stamps, get all the type of assistance that the government going to give give him. Because because they done took so much from us that he say us. I don't know who, who he mean when he say us. You know what I'm saying? I'm my own man, first and foremost. And then, like, come on, bro. Like, like, it's life is simple. Like, okay, so I got a bunch of different credit cards, right? So this dude says. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Woo -doo -woo -woo -doo. Uh, 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 this and that. It's not good to have a bunch of credit cards with a bunch of different places. Well, I'm going to tell you guys, it is good to have high limit credit cards like I got. It's good to have high limit credit cards at different banks. And then you use some. And then when you use that high limit, pay it back and let it sit for about four or five months. Then use it again and then pay it back and let it sit for four or five months. Then 
all these banks. You're building up a relationship with these banks. You see, a lot of you guys don't know how to uh, create a financial powerhouse. A lot of you guys do not know how to create financial stability, you know what I'm saying, through leveraging your credit. You know, and a lot of the black men from down south, I don't know where they get this from. You know what I'm saying? I'm from down south. I know they got a lot of good guys who understand who down south, who know, you know what I'm saying, about credit, how to leverage it and stuff. I'm not talking about you guys, but they got a lot of guys who are slow. And they say that credit is a monster. It's evil. They're going to give, they give Mexicans, they give Indians, they give everybody loans except black people. And that's not true, guys. We're debunking lies on this channel. It's absolutely not true. So, what I'm seeing is, is that when you're on point, and, and, and when you're on point and you are on a higher level, because don't it don't matter how old you is, a lot of the older black men who don't know about money and stuff, there's no reason for us to hang around each other. So like with this dude, who will not be, I don't care if he works with me, I'm not trying to knock him off, you know what I'm saying? He ain't a bad worker, but this dude, he just talks and talks and talks and talks. Like, like bro, like you're trying to get your point across about stuff and you don't even have what you're talking about. Like, I can't stand guys who don't have what you got and then want to talk about what they going to get all day. I'm like, bro, I took you to work. You know what I'm saying? We can, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, get on the phone. You talk too much, bro. And I said, matter of fact, you know, this will be the last day you're working with me, buddy. You know, so we have to be mindful to not spend too much time with small minded people. A lot of these guys out here are very small minded, you know, not well rounded at all. So with that being said, you know, we're going to do what we got to do. We're going to stay focused. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep shining. And, you know, we're going to network and, and, and throw game back and forth to each other. So, man, that's all I got for this video. Like I said, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Also, thumbs up this video. And always remember, it's a mother fucking movie over and out.